what's up guys it's you and as you guys can see we have more you you loaded up here for another pokemon showdown live was gonna bring you guys a different team um but today is team building adventures were hazardous they were so bad they were just like stis stds everywhere so we're gonna go ahead and just play more UU Hyper Offense because I'm really enjoying UU Hyper Offense right now. And I know people are gonna be like, oh man, I really wanted to see a new team this week. But it's like, it's kind of hard to make a brand new team every single week that's like fully functional. You guys know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave Fortress. He leads me champ, cool. Um, I'm NASCAR Machamp, but I don't, or er, I'm NASCAR Fortress, but I don't think I can outspeed this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get on my rocks. Look at that. This Pokemon's a wonderful game sometimes. I'm just gonna go ahead and get up spikes. Um, as he goes for the dynamic punch. Doesn't actually kill me. I get confused. And now I have a choice to make. I think I'm gonna click explosion. Probably gonna hurt myself in confusion. Yep. Got him. Off to a great start, right? <laughs> um, so he's AV, without a doubt. Um, he has two ways of removing hazards. One of which is spinning spinning with that the other which is defog with that i'm gonna click sacred fire though because you're no guard and i don't think you want to risk a burn but you do anyway you go for the knockoff and get rid of my band that's depressing because <laughs> e-speed priority actually would have been really helpful this game um just to pick off pidgeot but um he can just get a pre-free switch into man chat right here if he really wants to uh, I don't think he can fire off a high jump kick, not this early in the game, especially since I have Bugleade just chilling right there. Um, but Mega Pidgeot is actually somewhat of a problem. It, okay, he goes into Snorlax. I can, I can roll with this. Um, if he's Curselax, I have Dewblade. Um, so, nice burn. There we go. That's what I want. Good win for the crunch. Nice predict, bro. Sick play. I'm going to go into me hand shall, and, uh... He, he went for the rest. Nice. I'm clicking knockoff right here. Because I'm either getting rid of your item or killing your shandy. Um, it's pretty much up to you. And it goes out into shandy. Easiest knockoff of my entire career. Um, that helps a lot. Because now I just scarf high jump kick. Just decimates this team from here on out. He went. He goes into Snorlax right here. Which is fine. Because um, I don't think Crunch will do that much. Um, and is he not rest talk? Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna start setting up SDs in that case. Um, I, this won't do a KO me. I'm gonna SD again. Um, and the reason I feel so confident SDing again because this crunch did 22%. Um, so I can just click Iron Head right here, get off a nice chunk of damage. And by nice chunk, I mean you're dead. <laughs> awesome. Um, Entei's looking relatively expendable, um, especially since everything on his team will outspeed me at this point. Um, he goes out into this. I mean, if you're in the business of dying to Shadow Sneaks, be my guest. And, like, this is why I like playing with this team. Very fast battles, and I feel that Hyper Offense is a play style that really lends to me. I'm not going to get Rex. Um, just realize that. I think the suspect ends today. Um, rank? Um, I'm at, like, 1880, but it's like I don't have time for any of this. Mono blue. Kind of. You're purple. Um... I think I'm going to lead Entei, because I can just click Sacred Fire Turn 1 versus Frostlass and limit him to one spike, assuming I get a burn. Assuming I don't miss, which are two pretty big, pretty big things. He could go for Debond right here, but it doesn't matter, because as long as I kill him with status, Debond won't kick, which is brilliant. Um, and then, how am I going to win this game? Actually, Heliolisk just absolutely destroys his team um to an extent so does my boy obama snow plus two he just goes in a pert right here which is fine because like you risking the burn got him uh because i now just get to go into heliolisk right here and uh not heliolisk not heliolisk for sure fortress uh, as he gets up his rocks which is fine um i'm gonna get up my own rocks because to some extent i force him to defog and uh, he goes into Frostlass, predicting it's something else, which is beautiful. Um, probably going to Shao right here. Because um, I can go into Shao, U-turn, and break the Sash. 
And what breaking the sash does for me is that I know he's not going to attack this turn. He's going to try to get up Uno Spyco. And uh, this is like total hazard control. That may have taunt. That probably has taunt. Um, yeah, this is cool. This is actually a cool team. Um, but I'm just clicking U-turn because A, I get initiative if he switches. And I can actually just click knockoff twice. Um, but like this forces him into a 50-50 of clicking knockoff or, or uh, clicking spike versus clicking destiny bond. We'll see what he does. Um, is Lisk a safe play? Never mind, I'm just going into Ante because I don't really lose a whole lot by going into Ante. Um, as he goes for the T wave, I wasn't expect that's bad. Should have gone in a Lisk. <laughs> but to be fair, it's like a Thunder Wave for us last is uncommon to say the very least. Um, he just goes for a spike. As I get fully paired, I love this game. Um, goes for another spike. I hit my Sacred Fire though, so it's okay. Um, disabled. Great. <laughs> Time to lose the mens. Um, he could also go into uh, Sharpedo. But it's like. I actually need this because. I need it to get chip damage off on Sharpedo. Um, that's actually really unfortunate that he revealed T Wave. Because usually those things are in like Taunt, D Bond, like Icy Wind, and Spikes. Um, it's like, sure, you can replace something with Icy Wind if you want to be just complete Taunt fodder for faster Taunters in the tier. Which, you know, I understand there's not a whole lot of faster Taunters than base 110. But. We'll see what he decides to go out and do right here. I'll probably pause. Never mind. I'm, I'm lying. You right. I'm waiting until he gets back. Um, I'm going into Fortress because he can't touch me at all. Watch him roar. It's called damage. Um, 179. I'll probably outspeed this. Probably. I could just rapid spin right here and force him to go out into Jellison. Um, hey, I'm fast. So there we go. I have won the Hazard War. And uh, what that does for me is it allows me to go into this and click Hyper Voice, uh, pick up damage on something, knock out Pert. Um, I have a good chance of Okoing, or yeah, I have a good chance of knocking Mence out after Rocks. Um, he could go into Crobat here and uh, just watch me click T Bolt and <laughs> lose that right there. Um, I still have Entei, which is beautiful, and I have rocks on my side of the field. It's like 10 turns later, I won the, like, I relatively won the Hazard War, because, you know, he still has the Crobat, but feeling pretty happy about that trade. Um, I'm gonna click Volt Switch. Clicking Volt Switch. Yeah, he has Protect, so he had, he had to get that speed up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, God, don't ever let me do that again. <laughs> um, Dublade could be pretty cool uh, versus the rest of his team, except for the fact that it pretty much loses to that. Um, although Heliolisk beats that, that, and that, so I would like to keep it around. Um, I can probably just... Actually, I'll just go into Dublade now, because the jobs that Dublade does are, like, overshadow or are overshadowed by the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and sneak right here. Um, because sneak put, should, God, I can't talk, should put him in range to where I can just um, knock him out with the bandit E speed, maybe? I'm gonna go ahead and calc this. Um, Sharpedo, Mega Sharpedo versus my boy, Entei. Uh, I, I spam Entei a lot. I Like, Brennan and I were talking about this earlier. 73 on a high roll? I could. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny. Um, you know what? I'll do it. Just because if he wants to switch out into that, then like he just made everything a lot easier for me. So I'm just clicking E-Speed right here. Because I don't really lose anything by it. Get a low roll, but that's fine. Because what I can do is outspeed him if he's adamant. Speed tie. Um, I'm assuming he's running adamant though, so I just really wasted Entei for nothing. Except Entei was kind of dead weight at that point, so I don't mind. Because so I can just go in and click U-turn right here, and uh, pretty much make way for an Obama Snow sweep. Because that'll die to a plus two seed. I gotta find out what to get it, what to get an SD up versus. I think I can versus Jellicent, um, but you know that may be negotiable. 
<laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but anyway, back to the conversation. I was talking about this with Brenda earlier. Um, I, like, spam Ente on a lot of my UU teams. Um, oh, God, is this Scarf? Have I lost? We can T-Bolt anyway? Yeah, it's Scarf. Okay, um, thanks for giving me the game, buddy. Really appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. And I understand that that was very courteous of you to do that. Goes into Jellicent. Oh, please don't burn me. If you burn me, I'm gonna be... Actually, you may not even have speed. You probably will, though. Click and see, Mom. Don't burn me. If you burn me, I'm... Got him. I'm the greatest player of all time. Actually, don't take that literally. I understand I'm not the greatest player of all time. Uh, he goes into Crobat right here, which is probably just gonna die to an Ice Shard. Um, unless he's, like, super bulky bat. Reveal. Nah. He just dies. So, Obama's now putting in more work. Uh, the Toxic Mist didn't actually matter because he couldn't have stalled me out anyway. Um, so, as salty as he probably is right now. Probably doesn't matter. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like. As it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Which is, comment question of the video. Um, what you mods have you been enjoying enjoying lately? Because your boy needs some inspiration. And uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop. <laughs>